Hi everybody, this is Marlon. This is my child. And now you're growing up and having sex. It's time to talk to you about it. so beautiful. Slap a piece of cheese on your tube on them. Buck neck. I am blessed. I'm an actor, comedian. Uh, comedic YouTuber. actor? Comedic actor. I yes. gave you that one. That was good. I gave Thank you that you. one. Thank you. You kept staring at my lips, and like, that was maybe feel like you were a little. Was it necessarily into your it? lips? I was looking at it. was like, you got like this. Uh, how do I say this? Like the uh, goatee thing going on. <laughs> Would you consider yourself like a sexanova? Sexanova? Sex I consider myself as experienced as someone my age should be. Because I realize, you know when you look back at what you used to do and you're just like... Like I thought I was a shit then and yeah, but for right now... How many partners have you had? Enough. It's a good number. Good number between like what? What's the range? Between enough and enough. Um, I don't think we, we really need to get into, you know, the, the details of the shit. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Um, it was a week before I turned 17. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's the average. Actually, you're a little bit. You are the exact average for men. Am I? Yeah. Men are 16, women are 17, 17.4. See, because that's weird because the majority of people I know are always La like 14, 15, all types of crazy numbers. Like, I don't know. 17 is good for me. 17 was good. Were you in love? No, not at all. Actually, it was revenge for a girl broke up with me before that because I didn't take her virginity. And she told a friend that. And then I was like, oh, it's on. How many glorious seconds was your first experience? I lasted, I think it was five minutes. That is actually really amazing. <laughs> there might be a world record. <laughs> it was five minutes because the majority of the, the majority, like, first three minutes, a little bit of confusion and, like, it was obviously it was an experience, so it wasn't a lot of lubrication, so it was like a, a little bit of a struggle at first, but then we got the groove going. <laughs> and then it was over. Yeah, yeah, real quick. You've been having sex for a decade, basically. Wow. Thank you for that. A decade of getting Thank it you in. For that. A decade of getting it in. Wow. What makes good sex? What makes good sex? Um something that takes you on a journey. I don't think it's necessarily like just good feeling. It's got to be like a build up and like fall build up, all that stuff. Something that engages you mentally a lot for sure. Mm. So love. Do you feel that you have a really good understanding of female sexual anatomy and how to make a woman feel amazing? Um, I feel like. I know very well how to make female feel good, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know about female anatomy, like, telling you where everything is. I know where the things that matter are. Yes. If that makes sense. Okay. That's about it, yeah. So let's, let's embark on a really quick quiz. Do you like quizzes? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Oh, quizzes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. A woman can experience climax three different ways. What are those three ways? Do you mean, like, specific? Like, I mean, there's different types of that will have a cluster of nerve endings that okay. can produce. Well, there's a clitoris sensation. stimulation. That's correct. There's the G spot that's inside, and the third is the brain. I don't. know. The brain is actually one of them. You can because yeah. you can orgasm in your sleep as well. So some of them can yeah. orgasm from anal. That was good. Tantric, yeah. Okay. Tantric sex or whatever. Then they they just think about it. They don't touch each other. Whatever. All right. True or false? Two thirds of women. Cannot orgasm from penetration alone. Cannot. True. 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 Yes. <laughs> she's she's like surprised. She's like, yes. <laughs> yes. Tell me what he's won, okay. Johnny. All right. <laughs> the clitoris has double the nerve endings of the penis, the same or half. Double. Double is correct. Double with ease. Marlon, should we have sex after this? <laughs> double with ease. That's like. I always say girls have way more fun with sex because it's like throughout the whole thing you can enjoy yourself. Whereas guys, it's like more so the last two or three minutes. That's excellent. Because yeah. it really is. It's, it's core play for women, not core play in that same regard. Okay, so now we're going to talk about penetration itself though because you can, you know, enjoy it together in the same process. If you were to describe the G spot and where it is, how would you do so? <laughs> This is how That's 
so vagina weird. is right now. It's like this it's is a how cycle. It's, it's a cycle. It's a sharknado. <laughs> it is up. Okay, so this is wait. She's lying down on her back. So this is her. This is her face here. Okay, this is her face. And this is her. That's that's her. She's lying down on her back. Like, okay, she's laying down. Okay, so then it's up. It's at the top, the roof. And it's like an inch in, two inches in. I don't want to say it's too. It's not far. It's not in the back, but it's not too far back. Yeah, for sure. I, it feels I, like a little wall nutty type of thing. Yes, feeling. it is. A, that's a perfect way to describe it. This is a rigid place to get it. It's like a bone, but it's not a bone. And going it's towards weird. the front. Yeah. Carlin, I'm just really impressed right now. <laughs> I'm really impressed with your sexual education. I would feel like everyone would know this. What does female arousal entail? How do you know when a woman is prepared for sexuality? Um, wetness is obviously a key factor. Um, usually they just, they literally they'll tell you if it's like you're taking too long or they just want it right away. A girl will say something. Um, I don't know if there's any other indicators. There are. Well, lips swell, shaking. eyes get larger, oh, wow. skin gets flushed, vaginal canal becomes more rubbery and loose, clitoral head peels back a little bit so the clitoris becomes exposed. I noticed that. Yeah. There I you noticed go. that. Yeah, you know. That little nigga just come up. Yeah, I, I, so we playing today? <laughs> and how long um, does this take? That takes, I would probably say five to ten minutes. It's it's anywhere from 12 to 20. 12 to 20? But that's okay. good. That's your only one you've gotten wrong so far. Who taught you about sex? Where did you learn the most? Who taught you the most? What stayed with you the longest? Um, no one taught me about sex. Well, actually, a lot. My brother told me <laughs> when I was still a virgin um, that I should have sex with a fat girl before I have sex with girls that are thinner. Because if you can destroy a fat girl, you can destroy anybody. Do you have a special like finishing move? I don't think you can. Phone. Yeah, I don't think you can. How are you gonna put a fishing move? <laughs> okay, you ask a girl like, "What's your favorite position beforehand?" or something like that, and then you end with that because you know that's her favorite position. Those are about the only times. But like, usually I'm not very conscious of that at the time. It's like wherever I, we end up, that's that's where it's ending basically. And what are your no's? What do you do not? What do you say no, no booty? To? No booty. No booty. When you get somebody that you want to have sex with, you know, someone you're in love with, um, you just take time to explore that person. Um, find out what makes them tick. Find out what makes them do certain things. You can play people like instruments, literally. Like, physically, you can play people with it, like instruments. And it turned out, get the mental going, and when it's next, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I feel like you did a great job of teaching me today. Thank you, thank so you. So I, I came here to embarrass Marlon on camera to let him know he didn't know shit. It turns out you know a lot. I try. I try. You want a hug now? Yes, yes, please. A different type of hug. It's a nipple. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little oh, nip hug. You have a nip hug. Alright, that's awesome. Very that's sweet. great. Thank you. Liking this video, subscribing, and sharing are three simple things that you guys can do that make a huge difference in helping me to create more content a lot more frequently. So please do not be shy with the buttons, booze.